Part 2 Feral Animals Camouflage Body Scent Management This is a continuation from Part 1 of the three-part series Feral Animals Camouflage Body Scent Management Point 6 There is his body scent The dog did not always roll in the same scents He changed the scents he rolled in probably each day but I do not know the interval Possibly the scents wore off Maintaining the same body scent may eventually serve to identify him to a predator, so he did not maintain the same body scent, but changed it. Point 7. Pattern scent memory. It was interesting that the dog put different scents on different paws, for example, kangaroo manure on one paw and sheep manure on another paw. Perhaps feral dogs detect the scent of dog paws on the ground. As well, they detect the pattern of paw scent on the ground. So if the dog trod with all paws in kangaroo manure, a predator could still detect that it was a dog because the kangaroo scent on the paw steps was at the spacing for a dog. So perhaps dogs have pattern scent memory, not only for the scents themselves, for, but also for various patterns of scents. For example, the four-step pattern of a dog walking, even if the paws smelt of kangaroo manure. Point 8. Scent Map in Memory This leads to the question of scent memory. Perhaps feral animals have a scent map stored in memory of their territory. Many city humans have a visual map of their suburb in memory. Describe a unique house to them and they could probably take you to it. Perhaps if you had a leaf from a unique tree in a feral dog's territory, the dog would know from the scent of it exactly where the tree was. An issue in scent maps is learning wind patterns and how various scents carry, mix and weaken on the wind and how the terrain affects wind patterns. Point 9. Forming new scent maps. A dog may learn to forward a scent map by forming a scent map of new territory that lies ahead. This would assist when hunting prey or escaping a predator where it is not possible to run along familiar routes. Forming a new scent map would probably be relatively easy where the plants and animals were similar. If the new location was very different, forming a scent map may be very difficult. There would be a totally different set of scents and the dog would not know the danger or safety of the new scents. So scent mapping a totally different area is likely to be very difficult and stressful. Point 10. Three-dimensional scent picture. Another unusual factor was that the dog put cow manure scent only on one front leg, shoulder, and just above the shoulder. One way this would be effective camouflage would be if dogs had a three-dimensional representation when they smelt a distant object. For example, city humans might just smell a mouse. A dog may get subtly different scents from various areas of the mouse's body, and so get a three-dimensional scent picture of the mouse. The dog would know what size and shape the mouse was, whether it was standing still or running, and how fast it was moving. If this is the case, then rolling only part of the body in manure may disrupt the three-dimensional scent image a predator might form and so assist in camouflage. This is the end of part two. Please go to part three, Feral Animals, Camouflage Body Scent Management.